Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm working with the LSP Azkis Winter Photoshop Action Suite. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add the snow video overlays that you've seen and probably fallen in love with. It's super simple. If you'd like to see the original edit of this image, you can watch the other video on the Eyes Kiss Winter page or YouTube channel where I go through adding these layers to build up the winter scene using the LSP Eyes Kiss Winter set, which is super easy and quick to use. So for this image, I'm going to be using um, the Add Snow Video section here um, of the Actions. So to start with, um, this is quite important. Um, the snow video works on a new image, it works on a new layer. It resizes for social so that it will render a little bit faster. So first off, you click here, create video overlay. And what this will do is it will take your image as it is um, and create it as a flat new layer here. And then you will see a sign pop up here. A window will pop up, choose your overlay, resize and hit enter. You can see we now have a video timeline appeared at the bottom of the screen here. Hit continue and you can choose uh, one of the LSP Snow Flurry video layers. I think I'm going to go for Breezy Snow Full Medium, let's try that one. And hit place. Now you can resize this to your image and hit enter and the action will play out setting up the video layers for you. Step one, use a black brush to mask off where you do not want the overlays to show, for example the face. And you can change the opacity of this bright and snow layer too. You see this video timeline down below, you can hit the play button to watch your video. Um, you can drag the slider here back to the beginning if you want to. The video is set to 20 seconds here with this little tag. You can pull this in um, and set it down to 10 seconds if you want to, if you want kind of a shorter video. So hit continue there. I'm just going to pull this up a little bit and zoom in on the image here. Now let's press play and see what happened. So we can see it's now snowing in the image. Because it's quite a light image, the snow is very pale, so I'm going to come up here to the brightened snow and slide the opacity right up. And let's see what that's done. There, so we can see um, a lot clearer now that the snow is falling over the image. I'm going to hit pause, come on the snow layer here, onto the white layer mask with a black brush selected, and shrink this down. I'm just going to take this off her face a little bit. You see the, uh, the black has come up here, that means hide. Put this back to the beginning and watch our video. It really is that simple to use when you use the actions to set up. You can add um, another layer of snow over the top by clicking here, add another video layer. And then when you're ready to save, you come here, save video overlay as video. And then you can save it to social media for your clients or give it to your clients as a gift. Choose the save settings for your video. The size is automatically set to 2048 uh, pix, which is Facebook size. Select the name folder and playback options. I personally like 1080p HD. Depending on how fast your computer is, it will take a while to render. So please factor that time in. Um, go make a cup of tea or something <laughs> while you're waiting. So you hit continue and it will bring up the render video option. So you can save this as, for example, snow video, uh, client name, you select the folder um, where you want this to save. Adobe Media Encoder, format H.264, preset high quality, size document size, you don't want to change the size really um, of this unless you want it to be smaller, in which case you can adjust the, uh, the width and the height. Frame rate, I like 30 frames per second. Preset, progressive, color manage, and uh, document one. And you want the range to be the work area. This is this area here, um, especially if you've pulled this in smaller. And the render options, 3D quality, interactive, open GL. And then you click render and it will start to save. So I'm going to click this now. As I said, rendering can take a while. Photoshop has got to design and export your video. Um, so you can see this working here. I'm just going to pause the video for one second because I expect this to take around three or four minutes. Um, and I'm sure you don't want to sit here with me rambling away. Uh, so I'm just going to pause this video and come back when it's finished exporting. Okay, so that's now finished rendering. You can save this as a PSD file, um, like a normal Photoshop file or a TIFF, and it will retain the video layers if you wanted to go back and edit that. So let me show you the finished video. I'm just going to load this. It's on my other screen. Okay, here it comes. And there we go. You can upload this to Facebook. Um, you can send to your clients via um, 
it, it might be quite a big file um, because the quality is there and you want to keep the quality so you may wish to use WeTransfer or Dropbox or something to get this to your client but really these work so well for a sneak peek they work wonderful for advertising and they are a great bonus to give to your client if for example they have uh, maybe they buy the whole gallery or for your Christmas mini set you'd like to include them. So that is the LSP Ice Kissed Winter Photoshop Action Suite. Um, you can watch the other videos for some more tips and tricks on using these actions. And please join my Facebook group and share your videos and your edits. I'd love to see them.